if the equivalent of a dime right now, if you ask where, if someone applies for a job in the government, the amount of money that they want to go into the building, it doesn't go to, it doesn't go to the bank, it doesn't go to the, to the, uh, to the council to try to decide what to do. So when we talk about the zoning and conditional zoning, that's when you have to make a determination as to whether they're going to do it based on that. But here, because it conforms with the, with the uh, funding requirements. In my experience, there is no basis to deny it because it's, a, it's, it's essentially the, the equivalent of a, of, a, of, a, of a dime right now. So as long as they, as they submit the standards and the ordinance, there, there's no way. Gotcha. Just so you know, the, the developer gets to make millions of dollars, and we get to spend millions to fix the road. I'm going to call for the question. Um, uh, Mr. Gormas has moved and Mr. Nash has second to approve this subdivision plan for a 26-lot subdivision to be located at the terminus of <coughs> College Road. I ask Mr. Mr. Gormas if you'll start us the roll call vote. Aye. Aye. Uh, I mean, sorry, no. Aye. This motion carries 6-1. Um, you have another subdivision on Maven Avenue. Mr. Manager? A very similar situation. This is a four-lot subdivision um, that is located on Maven Avenue. There's no new roads or no water or sewer improvements that need to be made. You can see where the subdivision uh, is adding lot one, lot two, oh, lot three, and lot four. Each are 80 <coughs> foot wide at the building lot line, and that would be the requirement in that particular lot. And it would have to be no less than 10,000 square feet depending on the use, if they wanted to put the duplex, which they're proposing, each of those lots would have to be a minimum of 14,000 square feet, and I believe each of those are. Again, we got a situation where four lots are being cut off. They are leaving themselves a 50-foot access or a 50-foot strip in the event there was ever a public street built in there in the future, um, but they're requesting four lot subdivision to be improved, and I think they're proposing four duplexes, so eight total units. Uh, that is on the Tams Electric and is on the Tams Electric. You've heard him answer his request. What's the, what's the council's budget? Oh, and to note, they're going to look very much in the same builder and developer that are building the ones on Church Street now in Miss Williams' district. Motion to approve this subdivision request. Mr. Page moves. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Allman seconds. Is there any other discussion? Mr. Gormish, you're up again. Mm -hmm. Roll call vote, please. Aye. 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 That motion carries six zero one. Mr. Manager, we're gonna. Do you want to talk about the capital improvement plan? Uh, we're gonna. We'll do that on the first. Please, please. Um, for you on the first, if you have questions. I did did have another item um, I asked about earlier this week, and I got a very rapid response, and I'm grateful. I was talking about the audio video recording of the utility counter. Um, we haven't had audio, and I received a, a very nice email from our master clerk today indicating that the audio and video were now working properly in the lobby. Is that where Carol is? Yes. Oh, both, but the lobby and the counter. We didn't get audio there. Okay, so just at the utility counter. So behind the counter and in the lobby. Gotcha. Okay. That's just information. I was going to ask for some clarity, and I got it before the meeting, so thank you. all um, I do have uh, one referral tonight, and that is to um, Mr. Allman and his Health and Ordinance Committee. Um, <coughs> we're going to take up utility billing, utility software, and food trucks. Is there any other referrals, Mr. Manager? Uh, I would like to have a jam up on Route 46 off of Greenwich, okay. and uh, it looks like the obstruction Sadly, it's on private property, and so we told the developer we can't enter the private property to do it, not on his property, but on the Street Line Shopping Center property. And this for uh, Chairman Miller? Huh? Chairman Miller Street and Light? Street and Light. I'm going to refer this issue to Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman here, and uh, any other referrals? All right. Um, Mayor's Minute, I'm going to try to be brief. I have two items. Uh, the first item is... I'm formally asking the, the Finance Committee to consider raising the junior and senior fireman's Christmas bonus. Mr. Page had brought this up early in our term, and I support this. Um, I don't think it's been, been given in a long time, and it's a paltry sum. I know, I know we got a lot, of, a lot to do, but I think I would like to see us um, 
maybe double this, but I'll leave that to the committee. Um, the second item is, is Connie Irby, uh, who donated the trees downtown. She's a certified arborist, and she has connections with the U.S. US Forest Service and the Department of In Inland Game and Fishery, I believe. But she has met with DBI officials uh, about the planted trees in, in our sidewalk in the downtown district. She has pledged her assistance. She's already met once. Um, she will be here on the weekends, and she, uh, she believes that there are ample grants available uh, for, for a project of replacing these trees. Um, she said it's very much in the scope of successful grant applications that she has given, and she also complimented that she was the, commented that she was the donor of these trees, and she fully supports removing these trees and properly planting the correct species. So this was something that I brought up. Just want to give you all an update. Um, we have an expert on the scene and has already done some checking. I think there's going to be some great grants, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll hear from DBI at a later date. Um, so we have, just to clarify, we have the arborist who gave us the wrong trees. Who's no, now no, the, 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 she gave us the right trees in the town improperly planted. The box. We went against the Sorry. For the size of right. Here, no, you weren't. You don't need. And, and, you Which know, we could fix no. and keep the trees we got, right? No. I, don't, I think no. Her, her recommendation was, was not enough uh, possible. Got gotcha. Okay. Thank All right. you. Members of council, you have before you in your package the police police chief report. Does anyone have any questions for Chief Murphy? Nobody stopped. I see 300 and some odd traffic stops. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? You have anything for us? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, ladies and gentlemen, this is the <coughs> second opportunity to for citizens to speak to the council. Would anyone care to come up? <laughs> <laughs> Long wait. <laughs> State your name and record for Ray Alms. And address for the record. I live on Mill Road. I live in the county, but my dad lives at 107, 109 Dillard Street. Thank you. Uh, for the last 20 plus years, we've been dealing with ditch problems. And with this man being here today, give us a lot of good information. That broke. Tear that up and we'll see you yeah. <laughs> Well, I can't tear it. Uh, all the North Main Street water that uh, comes from the Main Street, Broad Street, uh, Harris, anywhere around the uh, Bevel comes through my dad's backyard. We have tried for 20 plus years because you were on the council last time. So we're there, time. <coughs> we're there Eric, for Mr. Nash. Yeah. So uh, y'all are fixing all these other ditches. Y'all took a bid on one and approved it tonight to get fixed. When I was a kid, well, I say 20 years ago when we first come across this problem, the town come in and rerouted the ditch to a spot and stopped. Since then, the town or the owners of the properties across the way have closed the ditch in, put more drop elements in. All the water from that side of town goes through my dad's backyard. I could step across the ditch 20 years ago. It's 25 foot wide and 20 foot deep and 100 foot long on my property. And it's all directly from the town of Blackstone's water. Where's this at again? Dillard Street. Yeah. In 2022 to fix it. Past council, we have it in the paper. We can give you the date of the paper. No, I, I've seen the motion. That the uh, town was going to have it fixed. And it hasn't been fixed. <coughs> we have, we cannot use a third of our property because of the ditch that is town. We, we can call them the EPA all of them DEQ because all of the chemicals that come off of Main Street run through our backyard. We have talked to everybody. It seems like everybody else's ditches are more important. I know some of you stand so on that you're not going to go on private property to do this. But it's not our water. It is not our fault that y'all's water, y'all relocated the ditch, y'all have cleaned the ditch. This man said if y'all done it and they hadn't done it in 20 years, but we've been here every two or three years for the last 20 to get this ditch fixed. 20 years ago, it probably cost you $30,000 to fix it. Now, 
he's telling us it's $100,000. So if you wait another five years, it could be $125,000. Y'all keep kicking the can, y'all talk about down the road. But y'all's property ain't affected by it. We cannot use, so if I say y'all gonna knock off a third of our taxes, because we can't use our property because of your ditch, or y'all gonna knock off our taxes. You use a third of your yard. You we go in there and dig a line right down the middle of your yard. You can't use your yard because of our town water coming across. What would you say? Yes, sir. I had a question, just for the council. Not been arguing about this the whole time. You know, we voted. It's your backyard. It's, backyard. it's my backyard. <coughs> so, I mean, there is 80 of that 140 that was set aside for the two ditches that are being taken care of for 60. There is, as for tonight, the bid was greater than 0.3, so we got about 80. About how much? The one on Northwest was about 35, and this one's right. about 25, so 140 total. That's 80. Well, you know, we ain't asking much. It's your water. So if we, let's go, Molly. If I go in there and fill that ditch up and block it, yeah. what, what happens? What happens? Mm -hmm. If I block the town's water floods. coming from Main Street of Blackstone <laughs> I, I, across my private property. I mean, I don't mean to be disrespectful, and, and, and I, 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 I. It's disrespectful that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. wait. One wait. second. Wait. I don't want to be disrespectful, and I'm a big, big, a big proponent that. I believe the town directs water to these ditches, but I got a, a ditch going and, and eroding a good portion of my backyard. And it, it's actually coming out and falling down. So, you know, and I, I understand, but I mean, that was done by a previous council and, and, um, and I'm not saying that anything's null and void from it, but um, I think there's a lot of ditches we need to look at. You know, Does that mean that the council's word means absolutely nothing? The town of Blackstone Council, when they vote on something, whether it's this one, the past one, their word means absolutely nothing because that's what you just said. That's not what that I'm one was this one. They no. voted on it and passed it. That means your word. A man's word is what, it's, what it is. Two years ago, they voted on it. But I got—I still got to pay taxes on this ditch that this man just said up here a few months ago and said if they caused it, the town of Blackstone caused this issue, that the town of Blackstone is responsible because their water is coming across our property. They relocated the ditch. He said it was if you relocate it. They added more drop inlets to channel more water to this area because everything through Garment and Pool used to be open ditch now everything in that area and i commend the town of blackstone on the work they've done in, in area but they put curb and gutter and everything where before to go across the yard it goes this way or that way now it goes to a curb and gutter that goes to the ditch that runs through our backyard now you talk about your ditch like i said i could step over this ditch when i was uh 20 years ago 25 years ago it is 25 foot wide and 20 feet deep and 100 feet long, if not longer. It's probably 200 feet long with trees growing out of it <coughs> because you can't maintain it. Y'all are approving ditches all over. You done Northwest Avenue. You're doing one over here on uh, Forest Drive. We did do one on your property at one point, though, right? No. Didn't no, we no. Uh, put a pipe in from the road and mm -hmm. going back? No, 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 no. I've been here. My dad's been here. My husband's been here. Not that main ditch in the back, but didn't, wasn't there one going from the road back? For we, two. Ditch. we ain't put the ditch in. No, he's talking about the drop ditch. The town drop in is in the pipe. The one that's buried. No, no Larry, Larry Parrish done that. Larry Parrish. Larry, Larry Palmer done it. That's, and that's how long we have been fighting this. Larry was the town manager. You were councilman. One of your big things was we'll fix this ditch. Uh, when uh, the past mayor was here, we'll fix your ditch. Well, he's gone. You back? And I ditch you still. But I'm like in this. a different role here, man. You know yeah, I yeah, no, no. I'm just saying, you left. You're back. He's he's served his whole term, and I ditch ain't fixed yet. 
Well, you got you got a new council and you got a new mayor. I don't, you know, I'm trying. I've spoke to members of council. I'm trying not to get into the votes and vote unless it's absolutely necessary. I've been I've been on the job 15 months. I haven't vetoed a thing. I you know what I'm saying? So uh, I, I'm just so this is up to council, and I'm not, <coughs> Mr. Manager. How how do so you're you're making a request to go ahead and do the ditch? I'm trying to figure yeah, out. Yes, you know, because my, it my was biggest problem is I understand what you're saying. I'm just trying to get it on record. It was approved by the previous council, and they right. did not get it done. Okay. It was approved. Right. Y'all's word means everything. Because if I come to this lady right here and she gives me her word, then I'm going to take it for her. Right. My word is my, my bond. They said they were going to fix this ditch, and that was two years ago. And they're all gone. Well, some of them are gone. Well, everybody's I, getting tired, and I, I, think, I think everybody understands your, your points you've, you've raised, and I appreciate it. So do I go? Um, no, let me see. What, let me let me try to figure all this out for you, okay? Um, Mr. Manager, could I have your attention? Um, what do we, uh, wh where do we go forward with this? What do we? Absolutely. Yep. I think this is a finance committee. I think we looked at it the seven times with the street committee. I think how many, how many times we've been out there, at least two or three, looking at it and going back and forth. And I don't want to happen in a... <coughs> How much? How much of the ditch did we commit to do? Was it just how much of the commit uh, ditch did we commit to do? Was it just to link to his property, or yeah. no, it was to the to the to the, yeah. to the woods? So, so it would be. The, my question is, my question. the money was two years ago. What did y'all do with the money two years ago that the town uh, said that they were going to do it when they voted on? So you're gonna have a 20 foot ditch. I understand that. Cover. But ours was voted. 20 foot ditch again. Ours was voted on two years ago. So y'all talk about money now. But it would if they voted on it two years ago. And I know how I do business. I figured my money two years ago when I. All right, we're gonna do this ditch. The money was set aside. Y'all talking about money you ain't got now. But that was two years ago. I ain't worried about your money now. Y'all made a promise. Y'all said you're gonna fix it. And all y'all do is tell people, what, right there, that lady, Spring Hill Church, earlier today, you said they told the man you know, everything's going to be great. He walked out the door and what you do? I don't know. Don't quote me, sir, but I did say that. I got you. <laughs> I did say that. Cool. That is true. What, what, what is your word? What, what is y'all's word? Um, our word supposed to be our bond. bond. And we did um, vote to do your ditches. We did. We voted okay. to do your ditches. Paper. Um, Somerville, Mrs. Somerville, and your dish. We did say we was going to do that. We did. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. The hour's late, and you've had the luck. You've yes, had sir. the luxury of having everyone here before I send it to finance. Okay, so that's a good thing for you. Well, I was going to ask you. I can come by and see you if you have any questions. Mr. Muller lives in the backyard. I deal with him all the time. Well, this is this is my chairman of Street Light, and you know, and the chairman of finance. But if you, you, you know, my door is always welcome for you. We've known each other for 30 years. Yeah. So, um, I, don't, I don't think going to account finance is the first step. I think Philip should seek this. To be honest. I think he should uh, seek an engine. Shouldn't he seek, well, shouldn't he seek some drawings and engineering way. first? Take it up, take it up. I'm listening for anybody. I'd like to put a vote. I'd like to put a vote to make sure that we let Philip go out and submit bids. It's, it's, it's probably longer than that. But I have one thing. You, you're making a motion. That motion don't mean nothing. 
because we already got a motion to get it fixed two years ago. Yeah. So you make it. Never, the, the, forget it. There needs to be a motion to seek bids, and then there needs to be a motion to accept. I, I, I understand, but you see what I was saying. I understand you're frustrated, but I mean, we are. Mr. Nash is. is I'd be surprised if he votes for this ditch. It's on private. Neither property. one of them. I but, understand but, that. But I will tell you this. I will tell you this, sir. I honor that, sir. Yes, sir. He did. He did ask for council to act tonight. I, I felt it was my <coughs> to assign it to the committee, but they, that is their that is their prerogative. So, um, Mr. Miller has moved to seek bids to pipe in the property on the orange ditch on what Center Street. Dillard. 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 So we're clear, going back to the tree line. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, the camera's on. We'll take it to the tree. Not the railroad tracks, and I don't know. And <laughs> the tree line. Not we said. <laughs> Look, going to the tree line. you, you, I need you to provide the drawings, gentlemen. I need you to provide the, the drawings so we don't have another Somerville, and we'll vote on your drawings, okay? Because I don't want you back drawings. up here saying we did this, we did that. I want drawings in front of us. And a bid, and we we'll move forward. When you say the tree line, are you saying the length of the ditch of his property line? I'll second the motion. Okay. Is that what you're saying? I mean, there's a it's grassy approximately right. for the majority of their yard, and I can't tell you exactly where the property line is. It, it should be right at the tree line. Where the ditch actually passes into the woods. Right. You know, we're talking about terminating our improvements at the wood line. Right. Bring us a yeah. draw. That's what got us in trouble with some of you. Hope you got my number. He, he, I'm available. He's agreeable to it. Let's get a drawing. But the motion the motion is made by Mr. Miller and seconded by Mr. Gormas to allow you to seek bids on piping in the arms ditch on Diller Street. I ask for roll call vote beginning with Mr. Gormas. Aye. 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 Motion carries 5-2. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I can now. <laughs> I honor you, Mr. Arms. Yes, sir. Now I can be of some service to you. Yeah. You have a, you have a motion, and I will see to it that the motion is carried out. I okay. thank y'all for your time. Philip has my number. I see Mr. Gorman's at the restaurant, and Mr. Miller, you're in the backyard. So that thank is you. A, a motion for bids. Just so you know. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank you. All right. Is there any any other anyone else that would like to come? Uh, anybody else like to come to the podium? Members of Council, you have in your informational portion of the packet included. Is there any questions? Hearing none, we have a closed session tonight um, with three segments. Um, one, of, one of them is the street department, uh, number two is administration, and three is council. <coughs> I'm going to delay that discussion with council until the first. And I think you need, you need to get this done with the street department tonight. That's the only thing that's pressing. Okay. All right. So at this time, we're in recess for two minutes, and we'll come back and we'll go back. the administration part off? That's no problem to you? Yeah, it's not, I'm not in a hurry for that. So okay. well, let's just get the, get the ditch going, we'll and we'll talk. Are we adding Hal Baker to each one? Yes. Yeah, we need that because he's here, okay? Yeah, we're going to take a two-minute recess, and y'all can get your motion straight. We're at ease. Yeah.